Hello and welcome to Zach on Three TV. And yes, you read the title right. This is Le Mans, uh, 2008 edition. We do a race here, uh, 10 laps. Uh, they should actually have pit stops. Uh, they might pit twice. Um, I know they're gonna pit at least once. Starting on pole is Playoff Driver, Third Alexa Gaming, or not Third Alexa Gaming, his teammate, uh, the real gaming freak. He uh, also has two wins this season. Only driver in the playoffs that is still surviving at this rate with multi wins. Um, so starting pole, he's already ahead of everyone else, just not because of the pole, but because of that 10 point bonus that comes with it. And again, 10 laps. Um, one thing I do want to say here, this track is a ginormous, so I'm not throwing yellows. I don't care how big the wreck is, but I am not throwing yellows. It's just too big. I'm not going to waste all my time for yellows. So that's a thing. And pit stops are also a thing. This track's big. <clears throat> Feel free if you watch if you want. It's probably going to be something else, uh, something new for sure. But I got a Cactus King in the booth with me. Uh... You got any first thoughts? Uh, it's probably not going to be very competitive. Unless pit stops are going to change things. Honestly, it's probably going to be a strong out race. Very kind of a long race. Long race track. Probably going to see a toll on tires, especially fuel. Um, I think the 82 of real game. Freaking 82 of freaking uh good lord day two's gonna have a good advantage um some of the guys that are in the bag a lot of playoff drivers have not qualified well so one of them dark x rain another reggie fogelman he is starting in the 38th position definitely something he does not want to see especially this late in the playoffs the round of eight it is go time you don't want to flounder around Playtime's over. It's time to get serious. And honestly, they need to figure something out here. At least if they don't do well today, they're going to figure something out in the next two weeks. Cause yep. Otherwise, Bathurst. <laughs> Bathurst is about as the same as here. Keep in mind, uh, I am not in complete charge of the schedule. There was uh, votes given out for this, and people decided, yeah, let's put two of the biggest road courses on the schedule. In the playoffs. In the round of yep. eight. But we'll see how it goes. If it goes bad. Oh, uh, well. All right. If it goes good. And Atlanta's in there, too. So. Oh, yeah. You just get a Atlanta curveball. You're not going to make it. Yeah, but uh, only the best of the best will survive. Ten laps. Uh, it uh, takes about four minutes to complete a lap here. So this is the largest circuit on the schedule, if my <clears throat> uh, memory serves me correct. And playoff points are out there. Uh, every lap lets a point. Talking about uh, Real Gaming Freak, he'll have to come in clutch, or hopefully he does come in clutch, because this is a great place to do it at if you can. His bothers is very difficult, and um, it's going to be something. So, yeah, and then Atlanta, it also a good place to come in clutch as well. <clears throat> and since it's a super speedway, it's going to be a lot of super speedway racing. It basically change your outcome going into bother bothers. Yeah. Man, this is going to be some. So again, 10 laps. They're probably going to pit twice. Uh, it's a big track, so no yellows because I'm just willing to risk it. You could say we're doing local safety cars, but I think we both know that's no, not going to happen. No, not close. I, I think we both know that's not really the case. Um, I don't know. I think we've covered most everything. <clears throat> Barry Thresher third, still looking for uh, actually a, a, an astonishing five-win season. Uh, he's already in a four-win yeah. season, despite getting eliminated from the playoffs in this uh, interesting system. Had he not, if, if this were in a point system that was not with the playoffs, he would be currently the points leader. But unfortunately, that's not how it works. So uh, about 15 seconds to the command. Pace car is up there a little bit. Should be fine to test, so... <clears throat> Should be good. Uh, it's fine. I'll, I don't think they're going to die. Mm -hmm. Drivers, start your engines. Command's been given. Again, 10 laps here. Um, let's hope for the best. Hope these guys have a good, clean race, if, if at all <clears throat> possible. And uh, don't be a lap one hero. And we also had uh, four drivers eliminated from playoffs last week. That was Sean Ard, Dripsy Scheib, 
uh, Zine, and if my memory serves me correct, also eliminated last week was I guess I, I guess I was gonna try to get it off um, at harm percent memory, but NH, NH Sean R, yes. NH Sean R seven nine and Dripsy. Yep, we're all limited. Yep, they were pretty good drivers too. Hate to see him go, but we got this round of eight here. We'll see what they cook. But uh, or this is Lamar, mm -hmm. so um, we'll see what happens as they got a few more corners to go. This pace car is going into the pit road. Um, <clears> the we very shouldn't have any issues on the wow. start. We may see some guys try um, to single file it out. It looks like the camera's being as goofy we there. Change that camera. That is an awful camera. Uh, they may try to single file out here, which may not be a bad idea. Yeah, yeah, that's probably the best for them. And green flags in the air. We're gonna be racing here at freaking Le Mans. Le Mans. Le Mans. <clears throat> we already, Le Mans. already a move by the nine car very early in this run. Didn't honestly expect that. We'll see if he's able to succeed. Getting around and this eighty-two. Uh, they are not teammates. However, they do run the same manufacturer. It looks like the 82 may be able to... the 82 real game Ooh. freak. Mm, I don't know. It's still there. We'll see what happens here. Someone's probably going to run out of racetrack here if they don't give it up soon. And it looks we'll like uh, 82... Mm, nah, he keeps it on the track. And uh, Barney clear. Thrasher going to try and to get around the nine. Freak, we'll clear him. Now, this is where the wall issue comes into play. Can they survive the walls? And it looks like uh, Barney Thrasher uh, was able to do so. We can't tell because uh, the yeah. camera is so crappy. And we have to switch uh, Craig could not call. Ah, TV one's worse. Oh my gosh! At best we'll get there. Once they transition, we'll see what they do. Not cook. Cameras are <laughs> mid, but doable. I uh, guess it is, unless we do. F I can't imagine what spectators like. I don't know. TV one yep, better. It's just as bad as we... TV one. So oh my god. Oh, spectators worse. Well, maybe not so oh, bad. Oh, that's telling me the helicopter. Yeah, I think <clears throat> I think TV or I think spectators for <clears throat> helicopter. But yeah, I did the test. Uh, you just kind of have to transition through cameras as the race goes. Probably gonna be the best bet. <clears throat> probably so. Well, I is think there... everyone made it through that first lap pretty clean so far again. Wow, looks like that. I can look for another run there you for the lead. Us. There's going to be DNFs. We're going to check. We'll check for DNFs during this race. If someone we won't really know something. until they cross the, until they cross the line a little bit after. We won't really know. As it looks like uh, yeah. NASCAR Fireball 48 successfully takes the lead from the 82. Oh, I'm going to have to change cameras again. Change the camera again. I have to get in the habit of that. Probably gonna have to do that ten Ooh. times, ten times a during the race, trying to figure that out. Ten times, more like fifty. Well, probably fifty times a lap, but ten times, <laughs> ten ten laps of that. So we'll see. Yeah, it looks like that nine car is definitely faster than the eighty-two at this moment. Able to take the lead on lap one. <clears throat> And uh, he has not won a race this year. He has uh, been actually really one of the best drivers um, in this series. Uh, almost won the 2018 championship back when this was a diecast league. Got a few wins that year, I think. This year he's trying to get another win before it's all said and done late in the year. Third and, and real gaming freak. Uh, not leading right now. Could be costly to his playoff hopes right now. As Barney Thresher we got a third. Third. second thing like having a Barney Thresher. China. Well, actually, laid off there. Maybe trying to make a pass on the 82 real gaming freak. Try to live another day. There. <clears throat> oh. It will. We haven't completed a single oh, lap wow. yet. Just give me an idea how big this track is. But, um, and this. Angle, yeah, you get the idea. Because we're back to a helicopter camera, apparently. Yeah, it's TV one. But, uh, yeah, Barney Thresher III has definitely proved himself <clears throat> to be the beast of this season so far. Four wins and. Uh, right now, he's been very consistent as of the past few races. Unfortunately, I think the round of 16 was probably his least consistent uh, time during this entire season, which was the worst time to be inconsistent. Especially, but yeah, that actually got him eliminated very early on. If he wasn't eliminated, I think he probably would have been most likely a Final Four favorite, even maybe even a championship favorite. Yeah. 
definitely start for sure as a uh, NASCAR Fireball 48 going to lead lap one. <clears throat> all right, let's check the standings. Did they all make it? I won't really know for sure. Well, I guess I guess they're all make tense. it. Some guys are ten seconds back. Yep. So, uh, or I guess he's not the last running car, but uh, all right, okay. Reggie's. Oh, what? Seven nines last. It looks like we may have had some cars that did have issues. Questions Reggie. Are, Reggie's uh, involved. Yeah, these two. Uh, he's actually still running. He may actually. You don't. I don't think he's having any damage. It might be an early pit stop strategy. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, it, does, it does look like he's know. pitting quite long here. The 81. Dona. Oh, yeah. They have to get quite a bit of fuel at this track. So this could be a strap from the 81 and then and the 5. However, the <clears> 97 <throat> maybe as well. No, no. Ah, uh, yeah. It looks oh, like no. he's got he's... damage. So he definitely got involved. In unfortunately, got eliminated from the playoffs last week. But everyone's still in the race. Just uh, some bullery going on, unfortunately. So... Well, back to the leaders. <laughs> it looks. I think the night car will be back in the lead. We'll see. I don't know where on the track they're going to be, but uh, probably not so far. Oh, yep. that part of the track. Yeah, we get figured out. TV one, TV two. <clears> one we network, got past one area. Yeah, for now. I mean, it's going to be an issue as tires get older. It's going to be something to watch. Probably so. These guys look like they're close together, but I. Well. Well. Actually, actually they are. Well, ooh, oh, bump and run, slide oh, job. Nice move track. by the 82. The Give him the bumper. Barney Move him out the way. Here comes Barney Thresher. I'm going to go helicopter Barney here. Barney Thresher, going for that lead there. He's oh. going to go for second as the 82 moves <laughs> the 9 out the way. He wants to lead laps here in the 82 car and quite possibly get the win. Because <clears throat> he knows he's in the playoffs and he needs to clutch. Now, these two here being side by side is going to be interesting. Looks like uh, gonna Nine's going to get the run off there. the corner. We'll see how they can. If Barney Thresher's got another corner, he can try to clutch in. That's what real gaming freak wants to see is these two battling for a second and he's going to pull away. Certainly so. And looks like this. Is that the 23 of Sammy in a box? Yep, sure fourth? enough. Yeah, I won it. He has two wins this season, surprisingly enough. He's been very quiet. Won it. Um, Twin Ring Motegi, and I believe he won at, uh, he won at another race that was kind of not exciting. I can't remember exactly which one it was, but he does have another win. I do know that. Got some, pa some of Pontiacs are up here. Considering yeah. maybe a Pontiac, want Pontiac obviously leaving the series after the season. Obviously yeah. nobody wants them. Yeah, uh, actually uh, all, all, all three of them are running inside the top ten. All three yeah, Salamander okay. cars running very well today. Surprisingly, Lowe's running one to being Joy Paints only. In between them <clears> is uh, Bobby Isaac in the 71. So uh, they've really found a good setup today. All, all three Pontiacs in the field are in the top 10 right now. And now, Bobby, so this is maybe, maybe a good to know, maybe a good last four races for this team, for Pontiac at least. And also four for this team. team and they're, they're going to one car Ford team next season. And not only that, their owner, driver, retiring after next season. He's had these career two wins in 2021. Hasn't done anything last year. And, oh, 71's in the grass there. 77, Joy Paints is going to go right by him. Yep, so it's it 18 like a bird. Me. Yeah, missed, yep. got in the sand pit a little bit as we see an early pit stop from the nine. It looks like we have a lot, a lot more pit strategy than what <clears> I would have expected. Yeah. So the 89, 99 also coming in pit road. Trying to leapfrog these guys. And make sure they're not coming into a clogged pit, which could be a thing. We, you could see some wrecks coming into pit row if it's clogged. I think the five car, I, don't hold me on this, but I think he pitted for that as well. Because I don't see any damage on that car, so I think he <clears throat> yeah, pitted on a strategy call. Because we know he didn't qualify well, and clean air is the best way to gain time. So this may, be a bad, however, it may not be a bad strap by that five car. However, the 97... That's a different story. Yeah, I, I think he got involved in a wreck somewhere, but I don't see any damage on this uh, five car. Let's check the rest of the field. Let's see where the rest of the field are and these guys. 97 is coming to pit now. A lot of these guys are pitting this time. The guys are in the back. Not a bad strat. Um, yeah, it looks like everyone's still on the lead lap. 
right now, which isn't too surprising seeing this, this track is four <clears throat> minutes long. All right, let's go back to the leaders and see what's going on with them. Yeah, Gaming Freak should be the lead. You see German Chick back there. She also pitted, I think, on Strategy Call. Don't hold me on that. As we are in probably one of the worst-looking camera angles known to mankind. Yeah, it looks like with that 9-car pitting, that I think the 59 <clears> fell <throat> back a little bit. A little so bit. we have a little bit of a gap now between the leaders, which is interesting. As the 26 did pit that time around the 77 to get by. or No, I think 26 lost a few spots there <clears> on their own. He did. As he did. Bobby and Isaac and Bird got by him. But uh, still, great run for these guys right now. I mean, um, Garcia and are just outside the top ten. They they got a good run today, just not quite That's top Bobby, tier. Bobby, I'm third. He's gonna try to under. He's gonna try the crossover. Didn't make it work. With As the, Joy Paints is trying to pass the forty of Kazo. Yeah, might make it work. Team. Try to pass the teammate here. As uh, you see, third looks the gaming back there as well behind the seventy-one, trying to do some stuff. He didn't get the run off the corner, but he's also a playoff driver looking for a good run today, and so far he's having it. Ooh, 18, quite slow in the corner there. I don't know if that's an issue or if he was just being conservative, make sure he lived to see the end of the race. I think that's the case with these two side by side there for, I believe that's sixth place they're running. Yeah, six. <clears throat> that's sixth place they're battling for. Teammates, obviously. Yep. Honestly, very questionable for where, Kat, for where Joey Paints is going next season. Uh, yeah, she has not announced a team next season yet, so it's gonna be something to see. So either she either announces a team, either starting a team, going to another team, or hey, she might she might even say, hey, this could she could start her own team or go to another team. Who knows? We do know that uh, she'll probably be going to Chevy next season. She's been very loyal to the GM manufacturer her entire career. Yeah. Uh, even so, in the Carsley cool. Cup Series, Ray and Pontiac in there as well, in the 43, or back in the diecast era, if you would. I do want to oh, talk yeah. about this 20 and car. Reggie Fogelman decided he's not going to retire, apparently. Instead, he's going to go back to the 5 car. This guy cannot make decisions worth the life of him. I mean, I, I give him this. Made the playoffs, has a win, he's found something. And if you find something you feel like you can profit off of it with something, go for it. And he's got every right to do so. Now, and I want to talk about this. Team is switching to Ford next season. This team will be switching to the blue ovals instead of the bow ties. Yeah, that's also something to watch. But I want to talk about this 20 car real quick. Or not 21. He's not having no. a great day. No. That's yeah. interesting to see him there. It's 44, almost missed the corner. But uh, Thurn likes the gaming. Yeah, change in, cameras. In 11th, uh, he uh, running 11th right now, uh, second highest running playoff driver. And it looks like everyone come down pit road right now. This is where uh -oh. money stops are made. And this is where questionable tactics are going to come to play and see if they all make it. I think these guys are going to try to run it on three stops. All right, let's see. Real gaming, real gaming freak or pole sitter. Looks like they all make it on the pit road. Surprisingly. This is a great view here because we can see how these guys, because they're going to take a minute to get fuel. Um, yeah. We're going to see the, the battle is, off pit road and to see if anyone in the back pitted well and did well. It looks like the, oh, these guys are going to get 23 in the standard box. Oh, contact. A little bit there, yeah. A little bit of contact between those two. It looks like oh, a splash and dash from both these guys. Oh, more contact. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty tight That's pit road. But I don't think no, any really. of those guys that pitted earlier are going to profit from this at all. They have me a box. As the camera kind of makes it all like pulling there. A little weirdness there. In a box, profited a little bit off that as he actually pulls out into the lead. Question is now, and he actually has a big gap too, but question is now, is it anyone get any pits, uh, pit uh, penalties, which we haven't seen all season, but <laughs> technically speaking, could happen. <clears throat> yeah, it looks Great. like... Uh, I don't know. I think they just got a splash and dash, so they're trying to keep their tires fresh. That's a strategy I've not seen before. When they say on the little chat board about penalties, I don't know, but it didn't look like anyone get get got any. If that would be the case, no, it doesn't look like it. Change camera again. I'm gonna have to change again anyway. 
<laughs> here in a second. Yeah, seeing the box came in clutch, great pit stop, comes out, takes the lead. That 23 Middle Road Energy Chevrolet. And this really kind of spread out the field a little bit. It was like mostly top five. And honestly, we got Barney Thresher third, trying to look for second there, actually. But I don't think he's as close as it looks. This camera's got a lot of, yeah. lot of camera's got perspective. Distance. Yeah, it's there's perspective issues with yeah. that. Yeah, it's a little weird. Look how much that 40 car gains in on him there. Yeah, God. the 40 car definitely got him in there. Yeah, he, I've been saying this 40 car's been dang fast. It was fast last year, too. Just has not had any luck this year. It's been very fast. Just no luck at all. I don't think any of that team's had luck at all. I don't enjoy paints. That 40, 26 and the 40 just had no luck. Yeah, but Joy Paints. Like, when they have fast cars, they'll get re either get involved in the rack or. Yeah, Joy Paints definitely uh, not out of the ballpark of uh, maybe taking the win of this race. Is her and Barney Thrusher seem to be always racing together, as it seems. But definitely something to watch as this race goes on. She's running fifth right now, if my if the scoring's correct from the last time we crossed the um, finish line. But. uh... Yeah, they've definitely had a great season. Three wins. Still looking for number four of the season. It's definitely their best season yet. And that uh, 77 Pontiac. Whereas Gar Salamander in the 26 had a great, has not had really any speed this year. He's been mid-tier pretty much all year. He just hasn't showed anything <laughs> promising. And uh, he never once in a while he runs top ten like this, but... I don't Not think quite as much as he used to be. I think he's already been passed a few times where he's no longer in the top 10. Which is another thing to look at. Dang it, which camera do y'all want to do? Honestly, Cody Goforth. Cody, he's been having a uh, not-so-stellar season to his, to his book. Yeah, last two seasons have just not been it for that 60 been. cars. That, that 9 car there, he pitted a couple laps earlier. Um... Didn't really benefit him much. Oh, no, it so did. Kind of dropped him. But he's still, I think, faster than these guys. Um, I'm not I'm so sure. Um, but yeah, he seems to be faster than most of these guys just on pace alone. But it did that strike did not work for him at all. He's that night car. Bump and pick you the way. Yeah, but the 60. Uh, yeah, if you're faster, this track is. Or you can lose a lot of time very quick this track, but. Uh, the 60, yeah, got a win this year. Better than last year. They didn't get any wins, and they had about as poor of a season. And now, uh, they're still not having great of a season, but at least they have a win to show for it. <clears throat> and, again, as of Brad Stover's win at Indianap or uh, Homestead Road Course, every Wood Brothers driver has a win this season, except for Jonah Birch. And Jonah, obviously, is not even one at all. Yeah, Jonah, our... he showed a lot of promise in the beginning of the season, but is since just not it's, had it's, any consistency. It fell off. Yeah, fell out consistently and not running very well at all right now either. Yeah, she's been a terrible season for Jonah, and he wants to get this season over with. Yeah, certainly so. And then look forward to 2024. Well, hey, he's look on the bright side. Triple, he's our only triple-digit number driver here this season. And... Can't say triple digit numbers are bad luck because we've seen Moon Man and the NCCRS literally get the repair of God came down and repaired his car. It was insane. And he, and he got a win at Charlotte. So uh, triple digit numbers are not bad luck. It's just Jonah just has not had. I just even hasn't had he what he needed here. Even when he was like in the his older numbers, he didn't even. No. Fun fact he's never ran the same number in uh, consistent seasons. He's always had a new number every season. So wonder if he's going to change his number next season. That's already been announced. He's going to do that. What's he going to change it to? As you say, I think it's I think it's going to be 18. I could be wrong. You'll have to check with uh, mm. you'll have to check with him or Reggie because uh, I think I think he's going to Reggie's team next year. But oh, yeah, I'm not confirm too much as this is a race <clears throat> broadcast and and not a newscast. Silly seasons for silly season and team owners and drivers and whatnot. Not for the for league owner to dictate, if you would. But I will moderate it. I won't dictate it, however. Oh, good lord. Yeah, that was the last thing we need. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to run a dictatorship. I already got socks for that. Oh, my God. 
But yeah, running in the back of the pack, 37th right now. Not the last running car, however. So there are some cars further back that just aren't having a good day. Uh, I don't. Let's see. Do I have any DNS yet? Nope. Everyone's still in the no. race, and everyone's just still on the lead lap Reggie, as well. No, no one's really close to going lap. Reggie. I don't know if actually Reggie can really benefit from them early pit stop. I actually might have hurt him. Yeah, I definitely hurt him for sure. He might be slightly off pace. He may have gotten some damage somewhere, but it doesn't look to be external. Damage, maybe. Maybe he's just maybe not as fast. I don't know. Maybe he did get some damage with Zion, and he's not just not visible. Yeah, Zion, not. he's much further back, but uh, he's not even in contention to go to lap down. Gonna, we're actually going to be halfway this time by on the track. So, the halfway bonus. For most lap lead bonus, that's kind of up in the air right now, because we've had yeah, a decent they're, amount they're, of leaders. Cool. Yeah, SB1, 97. The SB1, 23 currently the leader, and the SB1, 67. Uh, both these cars, unfortunately, got eliminated after last week, but still a good season nonetheless for the team yeah, that just... Oh, yeah, it's definitely got damage. Yeah, the rear, rear panel of their car is gone for some reason. Yep. I take a look uh, somewhere. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. This track's so big. This track's we're so gonna big, go it's going to be near car. impossible to find it since it didn't really... Yes, yeah, so we're not going back to find one car wrecking. Yeah, now, if it's like a massive wreck where, like... We see like multiple DNFs. Then that's on the look back at, but if it's like one car, no, just no. Yep, he's currently the last running car on the track. And he's still in the lead lap, so. Everyone's still I'll running five laps in, so. Point. We're about halfway now. Well, back to the leaders is Sammy and Box. Should be Should up be front. We haven't checked up in a minute, so it might have changed. Or not. Daniel. Daniel Paul's. He's in the playoffs for the 23rd. Yeah, but he's not really in the, he's having a decent run. Yeah, not really great actually compared to other playoff drivers. But we'll see how the points figure right. out after this race. I think like A2 is starting to catch a little bit, but not much. A little bit. Oh, he gained a lot that time. Yeah. He's there. Expect to pass maybe sometime in the next few corners. He's definitely got a faster car than Sammy in a box, that's for sure. Oh, let's say right to that Sammy in a box got a great corner. Yeah, he did. Uh, Sammy, he got a great pit stop there. Um, we don't really know how much fuel or tire or if he uh, tires. I didn't really take, pay attention to that, but. That's a factor, but fuel, I don't know how much fuel he got in that 23 car. So he might have gotten a little less the track position, but he doesn't seem as fast as this 82 car. Uh, as he hits the wall a little bit there, that's going to hurt his run in that 82 car. Yeah, I wonder if anyone else is the wall. Yeah, well, I, I, don't think we, I don't think we had anyone getting damaged from in that wall hard enough, but it's definitely Not yet, at least. Yeah, definitely give him some time there, uh, which could be costly, but we'll see. This field's really starting to gap up. We'll say in the test, they did not gap up, or they gapped up a lot more than what they are right now. They're, they're a lot closer now than what they were in the tests. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these three are all close together. Now you can just tell that 23 just doesn't quite have the the speed as these other two cars, the 59 and the 82. I think 59 and 82 are about equal. It really depends on... It, it's just going to be dependent on... I, I don't really know. It's, I just I, Overall, I think there's just some stuff equivalent out between them two, but I think it's just really just going to become who has the better cars. Uh these all three. I think uh, Kaza may be joining this battle here for the lead as well. As uh, Thrasher looked low there in the entry. I, 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 know I didn't see it because the camera being goofy, but <clears> seeing the window <throat> go down. Yeah. A little goofy. Got a long straight here. We'll see what happens. Uh, we are past halfway now, by the way. So... 
be interesting. So then we we're coming to four laps to go next time by, so very big um, track though. A well, lot can happen in yeah. one lap. A last lap pass wouldn't be a huge deal, but I mean it, it kinda would be. Yeah. Like it'd be equivalent to like a pass with ten to go at like uh Homestead or something. Yeah. Uh, maybe five to go. Yeah. Also, they're may pit again. They're both probably gonna pit again either this lap or next lap. They might have to pit again. They they might have just stretched it. I don't really know. But they've already pitted once on lap f four. Coming to lap four, I think. So um, gonna, it might have been lap five. But eight. either way, they I think they're either going to be actually, short. I think lap three coming. It's like lap three coming to lap four. Uh, you Is might it, be right. I don't remember. But regardless, uh, I don't know if they'll have to pit again. But I, they might pit again. Because they might have just pitted that time just to make it to the end. We don't really know. They may still not make it to the end. May not. And the earlier you pit, I think the worse you are off for track position. All right, and there they go. We just talked about it. Everyone's coming in this time. The money. This may be the money stop. So they pitted. Come to lap four. Come to lap. They may even have to pit again. I will say. Oh my God. Imagine. They 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 might come down to the last lap. Uh, we got we got camera angle again. So we're gonna pit what? lane one. See the yeah, strap. Did anyone weird. stay out? I don't think anyone in this main pack yeah. stayed out. I don't see any Rex either. That's good. They're all making it clean currently. Yeah, I mean we're gonna see some bumps on pit rows. It's just Aaron three being goofy, but someone's gonna it's get unlucky. And... Really someone's lucky. gonna get unlucky. That's just how it works. See that second place box still open. I uh, uh, think uh, NASCAR Fireball 48 decided not to pit. And once again, the 23 able to get a better pit stop there. Uh, yeah, you think, think that you think, think that first pit though. stall would be better, but in this case, no, it not. isn't. So, actually, whoever gets their pit stall first. Yeah, not the case here. Once again, same to box comes a clutch. Wait, uh, he's looking for win number Lincoln. three of the season, actually, in that twenty-three hey, car. That was Lincoln there. Let's see what. Let's see if anything happens to the nine based on the chat. Yeah, it's just everyone pitting. So the nine yeah. car, we know. I don't. I don't know Damn if he pitted man. or not. He, we know he didn't come to pit road. So yeah, hey, he yeah. lost a ton of time, uh, not pitting. So, so that's gonna hurt him big time. Unless these guys have to pit again, he is going to be in fairly bad shape in his strategy <laughs> call. <laughs> Started second and had a bad strategy call, really. The rest of the field so far has, seems to have the best. We've seen the five have to pit. We know the nine pitted on strategy, but as for the five, nine, uh, five and the 81, we're not really sure. But we know they did pit for a lot of gas, yeah. too. Fairly early in the race. On the other playoff driver. Let's see where they're at. Check in on... Check in our... Check in on the one of quadruped first. See where he's running. He's running the 18th position. He's having an okay race. He has an okay race. And then Daniel Paulus. I think he was running the mid 20 the last time we checked on him. Uh, he's not running as well now. 30th. No. Probably, Dark X Rain. Probably had a bad pit stop, not 22. Yeah, probably so. Dark X Rain. He's probably running. Oh. oh 36. That was better. He's in the pack, though. Yeah. Then Reggie Fogelman. Reggie, the next track. He's probably still 40th. Right, that's Byron Webb. Byron Webb having a top 10 run right now. That's impressive. Not bad. Uh, yeah, there's yep, Reggie. So um, he's just now coming in that area. So these guys are kind of back together, but they're very spread out, and I just don't think the yeah. strategies are going to work for these guys. Because they're very the... far back. I think uh, I think Hollis may be further back than that. He really had a bad pit stop there, that 22. That's going to cost him a ton. And but it hasn't, it hasn't, yeah, it hasn't scored him yet for the spots. Oh yeah, oh, yeah and then crazy BDG. See where he's at. Oh, he's right in front of Reggie. Yeah, right, no, he's a ninth. Right in front of Cody, Cody Goforth. Cody, Cody Goforth. It's actually, Daniel Paulus is right in front of Reggie there. Yeah. Right before we switch. So, actually, Daniel Paulus Jr. Yeah, he's probably further he back. back. Yeah, there's Reggie back there. He's probably he's further back from what the thing says because he probably came across the line in that position but fell back. Probably 39th, most likely. Yeah, there's Reggie. Yeah, these two are right next to each other. They're going to be right next to each other in the standings if it and stays I'll like this. 
And they stayed right next to each other in standings all last round, too. It's just funny. I can't get away from each other in these playoffs. And then another three, Brad Nelson. That's our last playoff drive we haven't checked on. He's running actually 14. Decent run by him. Yeah, he's had a lot of decent runs this season, especially in the playoffs. He's, he's Don't sleep on him. I'll say this. That nine car is so much faster than these guys. We just cannot execute. They were, let's see where the... I think where the 20 ended up after that pissed up. Yeah, I don't I don't think I've seen him too much. Um, yeah, he's still running, you hey. know, about decent. Definitely. Top 10 run. So, Pretty good, actually. I think he's the so second highest standing, running playoff driver. They're probably standing. Actually, what about the 82? Isn't he the highest? I bl yeah, I believe he's still in second, unless he something's happened to him while we're talking. No, he's still running second. Yeah, he's fine. So it's, probably after this race, he's going to be real gaming freak in the NRR, NRR Zala. Um, Crazy BDG and uh, Bren Nelson. Because they're the ones having the decent runs. For the sure. other four. However, the other four. Oh boy. It ain't going good for them. Yeah, we know that. Uh, Daniel Paulus, 39th. Reggie, 40th. I think Reggie, uh, there. Reggie might have gotten around the 22. So something may be actually wrong with that 22. Yeah. Either he did not pit or... Yeah, he missed. passed, he passed uh, Daniel. Wow. Another thing to keep in note here, uh, the 82 led some laps as well. So that's yeah. going to help the 82. Yeah, no one's going to lap down this race. It's not going to happen. Definitely not, unless they freaking wreck in DNF. Yeah. So yeah, something's wrong with that 22... There's yeah, Reggie a, going pit road. Yeah, he, he's probably on pit strategy. Daniel, pit road. Yeah. Daniel stays out. Yeah, we know, so we know Reggie's on pit strategy. <laughs> Mike's got some damage. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything weird on the pit. The chat. Uh, 76 getting a pretty specific pit stop. Let's see. Right, on up here. I don't Good. see anything. 22. Yeah, we had a few guys pit. Uh that time so that's something yeah I don't think I, I, he probably just had I had an issue on pit road or something I might have missed a shift or something I definitely don't need this um, but you know you gotta take your L's walk with him there's a there's next week um, Atlanta and then there's a week know, after that Bothers Bothers gonna be something else oh good Lord. that's gonna be that's going to be a nightmare. Yep. And Atlanta's not going to help because it's the speedway. And we're running super speedway at Atlanta, so... Oh, boy. This is going to be a very interesting next two weeks for these playoff drivers. Yep. Nobody's so. safe. No one really is safe, actually. Maybe the 82, but I wouldn't really count on that. Dark X Ring was another playoff driver that pitted that last time. Yep. Got a battle for the lead here. Yeah, and so 82 caught out. that 23. Oh. So this shakes out. Caught that 23. Question is, he caught him. Question is, can he do anything? It looks like he's going to lose ground there. We're actually on lap 8 of 10. We're actually getting close to the actual end of this thing. Yep. Two to go next time once they cross the line. So that that'll be very interesting. They pit on the final lap. They could. That would be that would be interesting. But I don't think that would really change anything unless some people stay out. But then again, we haven't seen anybody really do anything too crazy with pit strategy. Yeah, except, except for Reggie really. and a few guys that were, you know, crazy on pit strategy, but it came out the wrong end for them. Yeah. I mean, other than that, it feels like an entire field pitting. We haven't seen really splits, but... Yeah, nothing too split. Just just some drivers peeking out trying something different. Dark X Rain, one of them, he just came out of pit road, so he's good to the finish, I believe, in that 24 car. I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, unless we have to pit again, 
I think they're probably all good to the finish. Unless probably. they pit one more time. Probably so. Uh, we won't really know till like till we start seeing stuff. So, who knows? Yeah. I think Sammy the Box was still our, is still our leader unless he got past. Well, and they're coming to pit row. And it's a split. Oh boy. It's a split. It's a split. They're 82. coming to pit row with two to go. Yeah, we're going to pit road with two to go. So it's going to be very interesting. Yeah, I think yeah, that's uh, a very interesting strategy. Yeah, that might hurt them. Might. So Barney Thresher currently the highest running car out. So is Joy Paints, Bird, third, Isaac. Third is all gaming stayed out. I saw him stay out. Yep, third looks the gaming stayed out. So Cody Forge, NH, and I think back there is the I don't know who that. Oh, uh, Jeff Jordan, uh, Frank Shelton, Jessica. NH, Quadruped, Rich Quadruped, and Earthquake up there. Yep, and it looks like Gaming Freak might actually win this battle off pit road. And once. he will. Problem is, he doesn't have the track position now. Not everybody pitted. So right now, in the lead is Bernie Thurston III. The third. question is, as well, does do they have to pit again? Pit? And if they have to pit again... How's that going to affect the race? Are they going to be able to make it to the pit road? And if they run out of gas, I ain't throwing no yellow. Oh well, <laughs> that's on them. It'd be hilarious if Bernie Thurston III choked two good or choked two races by running out of gas. I mean, granted he ran terrible at Rockingham, but <laughs> if he hilarious. choked a win, if he choked a win by running out of gas, that'd be hilarious. But he's got Joy Paints all over him. That'd be, I'd be dead. I'd two be dead. of the best drivers this season are fighting for the win right now. Don't count out those other two who are on the opposing pitch strategy. They also have clean air in the 82 and the 23. These guys have clean air too. It just depends on who has a better stop and who timed it better. So the 77 and the 59 combine for seven wins this season. Counting in the 82, that'd be eight wins. The top three have eight wins this season. The top three best drivers all season right now. None of which were able to come in clutch during the playoffs. But right now, they are clutching at the moment with the pitch strategy. I thought you said the... um. Hold on, I thought you said the 82 had more than one win. He has, two, he, has, he has two wins, but he's not in the what top three not? right now. Oh. But yes, he has two wins. And uh, Thresher looking for win number five. Paints looking for win number four of the season. Bird, albeit he may look for number three. He's not out of it, but he's, he's there. So the question is now, do these guys pit here with one to go? Very iffy. Yeah. And if they don't, do they make it that last lap? Don't know. Good question. Here's a question. Is this these crew chiefs and stuff are going to have to ask each other these drivers, is the risks worth it? The playoff drivers, they're the ones that have to take the... They're probably going to be the, the ones taking the trip. least risks, like the 82 they're like, pitting early. Yeah, but the ones taking this lap and the next lap, they're taking the biggest risks. Yeah, this, this is going to be something. So depending on how many pit this time, if any... Um, is going to be interesting. So we're coming out of the pit road, I well, think. Well, we definitely know that our bottom... So we know that the most likely the three of the four at the bottom are going to be Dark X Rain, Reggie, and Daniel Paulus. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, unless well, something big changes. Yeah, like that Phil Rex. <laughs> Imagine. Paulus has found some speed, it looks like. Even though he felt like a rock half the... Have the race. Funny enough, he didn't pit either. He might be passing other cars that have a bad Pitted. pit strat. It's so actually ahead of more and more worn out tires. Nine car. Maybe. Yeah, that car. He, right. he just had horrible pit strat all race long. Yeah. Let's go see what's. All right. Let's go see the leaders. Let's see if they see Barney Thresher pitted. Yep. Wrong fifty car. Another wrong fifty. Yeah, no, not Cody. All right. This would okay, be the money this stop. Is this is the corner. Do they pit now? They do. Yes, they do. They pit. Oh, my. Do they all pit? Yeah. The question is, they're coming to the white this time. I'm on pit lane one right now. Now, to, to the line, out. it looks like Barney Thresher is going to lead the lap. Gonna who's going to who's gonna stay out? Uh, it looks like oh. the 45 oh. may have had to call it to the pits. May have, I think he ran out of gas in that 45 car. I'll oh, boy. Uh-oh. I'll take We'll take a look after the race, see if that happened. Yeah. 45 may have ran 45. out of gas. Check the, the chat. 
not a bad idea. So it looks like uh, out of pit road, Barney Thrasher. Uh, the other cars aren't even close. The the eighty two, they? they're not even close. Let's see, where are they? They're now, now oh, coming off the final corner. The Still, the pit strat oh, wow. has worked. Barney Thrasher currently leading on with one lap to go. With the winning strat, could be. Let's check the chat again. See if the 45 actually had an issue. Um, yeah, 45. Uh, I don't know what happened. We'll have to check that after the race. Yeah, but that might be. Wow. The 82 of uh, Real Gaming Freak just choked away his chances of. Yeah. Right, having a great run today. Maybe getting a good chance of solidifying him. What? Wait a minute. So, the 82, obviously, not a great run. Yeah. Let's check where the other playoff drivers ended up right now. So, obviously, we know Dark X Rain, Reggie, and Daniel Paulus are going to be yeah. some of the bottom drivers. Yeah, and ain't none of them going to be able to come in clutch at this point. Last lap, everything's off the table. Especially for Reggie and Dark and the 22, Daniel. Squad head, let's see where he's at. Squad head, he clutches into a 12th well, place, it looks six, like. Oh, he's in so, run. Uh, I don't think he's the highest Starting running, however. Game and, oh, wait, I see another playoff driver right there. White car. Right, third Alexa. Third Alexa. Definitely he's clutched in. Driver now. Bobby Isaac looking for third right now in that 71. Next other driver, let's see. I think we need to look for is the... There's Bobby Isaac. Gonna try the to other pass for third on the last lap, so this could be something if you can get it going. And battle for the lead. Oh, not Jessica. This is the last lap. We'll take a look at our playoff guys in a moment. We got a battle for the lead on the last lap, and 77 gets around on the top. Oh. Maybe 59 sends it oh. deep. Uh oh. As the camera, goofy on camera, gonna prevent us from seeing it. And the 77 is gonna take it off the top. Last lap pass. Wow. Joy well, Paints Bar looking right. for win number four. The question is, can Barney get back there? Yeah. We'll watch this battle. We'll worry about the playoff drivers once the race is over. Yeah. Um. He's got a he's got a decent draft here. He's got to run. I don't think it's gonna be enough though. See what happens. Oh, he's gonna gain a lot of time there. Question is, Ooh, get a lot of time there, I think this is a couple last corners here. Or no, I'm thinking of the wrong part of the track. Joy Paints looking for win number four. Barney Thresher looking for win number five. Number These five. two would be tied two for the win most wins this season if Joy wins this. She pulls away there. Oh, she pulled away big time there. Certainly so. They have oh. lots of time on the 18, the 71, and the 20, who's currently has play, running playoff driver. 71, 77, the grass there a little bit, trying to give Bobby every little bit of time she can. I was like, Bobby, I did not get by Bird there. Oh, she so they were made didn't. third and fourth. Oh, he didn't. I think we're heading up the last few corners here. It's not too long for now, actually. Yep, we're almost there. Joe Payne's looking to take it away here. Yep, coming the last like couple of corners. Yep, here we go. Last few corners. Yeah, going a small run, anything. but I don't think I don't it's going to be think, enough. Nope, I don't think he's going to be enough. He, nope, he didn't get it. Joy Paint. Joy Paint on the final corners. Joy Paint is going to win the round of eight opener at Le Mans. Yep, and last, a last lap pass and a bad strategy by the 82. Of third likes of gaming, it looks like the 45 coming out of pit right now. Gaming freak, or not game? Third likes game, gaming freak. He's gonna come home in twentieth, eighth. Actually, a... whoa, whoa, what? Did somebody pit? Hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. He was twentieth at the line because the other cars were coming out of pit road when he passed, so that's yeah. why he got eighth. So, uh, Where did Gazal Gaming finish? Because he finished still. Did he still finish fifth or did he pit? He finished fifth. Yeah. All right. Quadruped finished. Okay, let's see here. So, 20 finished fifth. The 82 actually benefited a little bit, but actually, 
Nah, even even this was a loss. Up, this was yeah, a, loss. a loss. Even after, I mean, even after, he's still gonna be above the cut line, so it's not gonna really hurt him too much. Well, that could be that could be points he needed to make it to the champ four. That's all I'll say. Yeah. Now let's see what happens to forty five. We know he uh, he came out of pit road basically when he's the race was over. Uh, I guess he uh, had to pit for he just something. Did he just teleport to his pit stall? We'll see what happened here. So this is on left. There, there's oh look, there's crazy BDG there. So we know we see him teleport to a stop. There's crazy. Let's... So he was running yeah. his 13th like... when whatever happened happened. Yeah, there's no way he runs out of few. Unless he didn't pit there's for no gas or something failed. Of... How did obviously? There's no way this dude ran out of fuel. Something happened. Or if he didn't take gas. If I he mean, didn't take gas, that was a very idiotic move. Something there with the Pure Motorsports team didn't quite go to plan there. They were in for a good, decent finish too. Uh was a little bit of time Brendan Nelson there. I don't see anything. Brandon Nelson being a little bit faster. Being a crazy BDG, forever. he finished tenth. Yeah. There's a teammate Evan who's got better pitch. Wait, never track. mind. That's why not. What am I talking about? Oh, 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 oh my gosh! His he own did. team owner sent him into the sand. Killed him. Didn't look like he had he a lot of damage him. either. So, yeah, just. Bumped him. Put him out the way. We don't really have yeah, any good views literally. of this, except for Pictator. That would yeah. be a very interesting team meeting on Monday. Yeah, we know Evan had a faster car and just didn't break for the 45. Moved him into the grass, into the wall. and Thankfully, there was a sand wall there. It was just kind of a ramp, if you would, to yeah, prevent any further damage. But he Can hit the it? tires and... Eric called the tow truck over. and unfortunately uh only car that's not going to finish on the lead lap or actually uh well yeah even he finished four on. minutes behind technically didn't finish on the lead lap we'll see how scoring figures out but yeah nonetheless that Hold was on. actually a really good race um thermal x gaming or not, i keep saying that the real gaming freak choked it but um joy paints win number seven time burning thresher for most wins this season and on the all time wins no, looking Evan. very good for Joy Paints. Got any last thoughts, uh Cactus? Um well, it was a very clean race. Real gaming freak choked it. Durning's all gaming. Got a good finish. Um the playoff drivers didn't play strategy very well. Reggie Dark and Daniel Paulus did not play strategy very well either. Very poor results by them. That's going to be big for those guys. They need to really claw their way at Atlanta. And I think Atlanta is going to be a really big wild card next week to seeing who makes the championship for and who doesn't. Yep. Well, uh, I think that's going to wrap it up here for us. Uh, for me, Cactus King, this is the Cars and Cup Series at Le Mans. And we'll see you next well, week at Atlanta.